Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Connecticut Huskies and the Syracuse Orange. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. Hey, Brad, you should really pay attention to the matchup in the middle. These kids are really skilled and worth paying special attention to. Expect a big day for one, if not both of them. The small forward position is going to be one to watch. We've got a great matchup tonight. Number 15 is the type of player that can shoot the ball without effort from three-point land. He's got a beautiful stroke. Starting across for him tonight is a player known for his dead-eye shooting, Brad. It should be a good matchup to watch. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. All 10 players are set, and now for the tip. The orange with the tip, and they spring into striking distance. Working it around the perimeter. The shot from the baseline. A lot of people can't hit that shot anymore, Dick. That 10-12 uh, foot shot. Yeah, the medium range shot is a, um, an extension. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He gets the rejection. And nice looking jumper in the lane. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking for a good shot. For two. They still don't score. Look at that space. Jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. Anderson comes up with it. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Now they work it around the perimeter. Had his shot rejected. Anthony receives the ball. Up and inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Tries for two. The Orange are considered pretty balanced, I think, when talking about their style of play. Wouldn't you say, Dick? You know, balanced teams will definitely give you a combination of the two styles. Some teams will play up tempo on offense and be half court oriented at the defensive end. Other balanced teams may play in a half court offensively and really look to pressure their opponents in the full court. Working around. 
around the perimeter. Let's it fly. Great shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you got to use that screen. Hey, how to dribble use the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. Cross court. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Gave it up. Great anticipation defensively. As we continue to track the game's tempo. A little half-court action and a little fast breaking, Brad. As a result, we have a balanced tempo reading. On the outside. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Power forward gets the ball. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They work the perimeter. Handled the trap really well there, Brad. Gordon receives the pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Number 13 takes it away. Anthony handles the pass. On the outside. Top of the circle. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The center gets the pass. He goes up with it. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Looks like they want a T.O., Nick. Hey, the motor's running, baby. Coach has got to figure out how to stop this run. for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Gordon handles the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fires away. He comes up empty. The point guard gets the pass. And now they'll bring it up. They'll work it around the arc. Good play there with the block. What a play. That's not an easy thing to do, Brad. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. Pull up jumper from way out. Not there. In terms of balanced teams, what might we expect from them game to game, Dick? 
They try to really get balance in that. They'll get some points with tempo by creating a little fast pace and then slow it down and executing their half court set, getting high percentage shots. Here comes the ball screen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for a good shot. Tan on the shot clock. For the bucket. The lane. It's the replay, please. Gordon receives the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and in. Who'll be able to use their tempo and come out with a win here, Dick? Well, it all comes down to execution. If you can put points on the board playing your style, your opponent will have to make adjustments that may affect their tempo and what they will do well. He tries the three. Comes up short. Pushes it up. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Tan on the shot clock. Kicks it out. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. Gave it up. for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. The center gets the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. The lay-in. Number 51 takes the feed. Kicks it out. He's in the clear. Number 10 drains the three-pointer. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Maybe in trouble here, Brad. Ten on the shot clock. The power forward with the ball. Blocks the shot. They're called for a shot clock violation. Very poor ball movement, Brad. The defense is doing a great job of keeping the ball out of scoring positions. Dump it inside. He intercepts it. Williams may have escaped one there. Oh, what a strip, Red. 
They move it into the front court. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here they go in transition. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Number 10 takes the pass. Gave it up. Fake baseline jumper. They let him get into a rhythm. Number 14 steals the ball. Here they come now on a turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 30 picks up the foul. Second team foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He cleans the glass. Number 30 takes the feed. Looking for a good shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Anthony handles the pass. Look at that spacing. Three seconds in the lane. He's not moving, Brad. <laughs> moving it around the perimeter. He passes it out of the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Then. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Work it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Terrific score off the fast break. Up and inside. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Way off target. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. For two. Off the rim and no good. Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's given the offense the blues. Gave it up. Tries for two. Up and in. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. These teams are selectively pushing the ball and looking for transition opportunities. For the bucket, number 30 handles the pass. And working around the perimeter with lots of room. Misses from three-point land. Anthony handles the pass. Goes up for two. At the end of the first half, the Huskies are down by eight. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Revisit those points of emphasis. Dick. That's a great half, man. A great half when looking at the points we brought up during the pregame. They need to keep it up. Let's see how things will change or remain the same going into the second half. 
Connecticut has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. I'll tell you, really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. The Orange prefer a more balanced attack. They play up-tempo at times, and then really settling in in the half court at other times. Definitely, Brad. They prefer a more balanced style, picking and choosing when to force the tempo and when to settle down in the half court. Ten seconds to get it off. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass up. Down inside. Now the turnaround jumper. Shot clock goes off. Yeah, Brad, the defense had him locked down that time. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They work the perimeter. A little frustration right there. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. Kicks it out. Brown may have escaped one there. A little two-man action. Picks off the pass. The shooting guard takes the feed. He escapes the trap. Great job of beating the trap there, Brian. The land. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. The Orange had done a really good job so far rebounding at the defensive end. This was a key that Dick brought up earlier. They have seemingly taken note and started the half in front because of this. The coaches want this solid rebounding to continue. If not, the first half effort was a waste. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Steals a pass. Now on the run. Look at this going coast to coast. Nobody stops the ball. I mean, he just has an open lane, man. You can have that truck from here. Picked out of the air. Number three takes the pass. For two, the Orange have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. Cross court. the rejection. Anthony receives the ball. Good timeout right here, though. Settle down, get that timeout.
away the pass. Number three takes the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Kicks it out. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Gordon receives the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. They'll work it around the arc. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Number three is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. He's got to snap out of it. His team needs him. Kicks it out. They get an open three. He gets it to fall. The Pistons are firing on all cylinders right now. This a well-oiled machine right now. Isolated on the outside. They work it around. This one will come in from the baseline. Cross court. Brown may have escaped one there. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Looking for a good shot. Spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The Orange have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Cross court. As the fans chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? They get an open look for three, and Dick, no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. He rejects it. On the dribble, gives it up. Composure to pass it out of the trap. Pushes it up. For the bucket. Up and in. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. 
Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. That's, of course, Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. They get that rejected. The lay -in. the perimeter. Hey, these guys are starting to look tired, Brad. Try to go inside. Jumped in front to take it away. Number 14 gets the ball. Dump it inside. Pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Strong rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Gordon receives the pass. Hey, dodge one there, Brad. Anderson receives the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points, it doesn't matter. Gave it up. Picked off. The center with the ball. Cross court. This moment's brought to you by our friends at State Farm. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Two, up and in. Looking for a good shot. Watch out, five second call approaching. The shooting guard receives the ball. Tries for two. He can't miss. And he's shut man's feeling it, Brad. Is it out of the trap? Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Now he's on fire. Well, then, they've had a chance to talk it over. What do you think the players are thinking about right now? Hopefully they're thinking what they're going to do to win this game, baby. But seriously, they need to be thinking about their defensive assignments and what their coach wants them to do offensively. Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Look at that spacing.
looks for three. He missed. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. And he can't hit the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Blocks it. Pushes it up. Side jumper off the mark with that shot. We take a look here at each team's tempo. Dick. Hey, the key to this game is not just who will set the tempo, but who can control it throughout the game. The missed shot. The small forward takes the pass. Cross court. He intercepts it. perimeter Nick what are your final thoughts and how these teams play I look at these points of emphasis and actually grade a team based on whether they accomplished any of them or not based on my experience teams who can't achieve most of these keys will have a good performance simply because they're playing their style and within themselves Folks, it's all about controlling the tempo. If your team is playing their style of play, usually good things are going to happen. Dick, you know, it's always great to look back and see how the marquee matchup is played out. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. That's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Syracuse takes a huge win by a large margin tonight. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.